Hey fam, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back squad. Here today to do a general reading. Today we're going to look at our frenemies. Um, I don't know, it's just been kind of itching a little bit lately. Just, I feel hater ass energy in the air and kind of like looming around collective. So I decided um let's pull some cards and see what they're thinking and what they're working on not that i really care because we're just going to keep on pushing but it was funny because the first question i asked was like what do they think of collective like what are they how are they viewing collective how are our frenemies looking at us um and the cards that i got was really interesting because it kind of feels like they're they're amazed they're amazed they're amazed at the fact that you're able to kind of bend and um, adapt to certain life situations and certain things that you've experienced. Um, some of us may have may be isolated, maybe some of you are isolating. They're surprised that you're able to go the distance. Maybe they've been trying to throw roadblocks in front of you and it hasn't stopped you from moving forward. You're not afraid to keep building. You haven't been afraid um, to keep building, to keep building on yourself, building onto your empire, your situation or whatever it is that you're doing. You haven't been afraid. Nothing that they've done has stopped you. Yeah, you're just working. You're literally just working. You're working and minding your business. All right. Let me grab a couple more. What else? Yeah, they may have wanted you to be feeling. Here's the funny part. Somebody wanted you to feel isolated or to not so much to feel isolated. They wanted you to be isolated, but they wanted you to feel like an orphan. They wanted you to feel like you were left out in the cold. And not, And I don't think that they realize that it was you that took yourself out of the equation, not the other way around. <laughs> um, again, I also feel as though if somebody has been sending you negative energy or sending you, you know, dark magic has been looming around in all the readings in Tarot Land, but if somebody's been sending you bad juju or bad energy just to keep you in this, you know, orphan Annie energy, um, it's being returned to sender. I love that. Yeah. It's literally being returned to center. <laughs> Maybe dealing with some situation where there's some unfinished business here. I feel like somebody may also be trying to block a message or somebody worried about a message coming to you. This may have something to do with family or a home. We have somebody here who, okay, whoever this is that's sending you this unfinished, this is unfinished business that may have something to do with family. Whoever's sending you bad energy, um, it's kind of like they've lost their connection to, um, they've lost their connection to spirit or higher power. They may have been trying to create some chaos and conflict within your home, but you literally, whatever you're doing, it is sending it straight back to whoever was sending it to you. So if somebody was sending you bad energy, sending it to your home, it's been returned to sender. Like you're you're your own cleanup person. You're you're cleaning up somebody else's mess. All right. So you're being challenged here to be fair in a situation dealing with your enemies, your frenemies. All right. Tell me what the frenemies think of collective, please. Let's dig down with Tarot. What are your frenemies thinking of you? Eight 
Damn. They're pretty powerful cards. <laughs> Okay. Well, it looks like they think of you as somebody who is about your business. You're about getting shit done. You're about, and it's interesting that the center, the center card is the justice card, and we have this to be fair, okay? So, I feel like they find you to be very balanced. Um... Like maybe you've you you're balanced emotionally. You're you're moving with logic. You may have experienced. I mean, if you're watching a tarot reading, you've probably gone through some type of an awakening. So, since your awakening, since your awakening, you have transformed yourself into someone who is incredibly balanced. Someone who um, is logical very clear thinking um i don't see a whole lot of emotions here the emotions are here it's like you you have a very healthy understanding of your past um and you've reconciled and come to terms with things from your past um and i feel like you're just they're just seeing you move forward they just see you being a boss okay what are these enemies doing behind our backs? Being foolish. What are the enemies doing behind our backs? Four more cards, please. Okay, so we have somebody here who is trying to cause an ending. Somebody may be trying to cause an ending in your life, cause an ending to your life. Because you've released them. Wow. Because you made a decision, you came to terms with whatever you were dealing with. You recognize people for who they are, what they are, whatever, right? And once you come to that revelation, there's no real reason to hold on to them. If you, especially if you recognize that they don't serve any purpose, right? Because you see the truth. Um, but they're trying to do things, and I feel like it has some. They're they're wanting. They're trying to do things to make you act in a way. Especially if in your past you were very, you know, I don't know. Um, challenged in the areas of making sound decisions we'll put it that way <laughs> if you were challenged in the past made bad decisions or whatever had tendency to act foolishly and just do things without thinking um they've been trying to the 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 work they're doing here they're trying to get you to act in a way that is like the past which would create some kind of drama and an ending in your life. All because you let them go. That's some weird energy. That's some weird energy. Give me more on this, please. What are they trying to do and why? Why? Why specifically? they're jealous and you're standing your ground and you're following your heart you are following you you decided to start focusing on self-love and these people are jealous because you love yourself imagine that people jealous of you because they because you love yourself And because you may be, okay, so you may be in the public eye. You may be in the public eye. Not only that, but you're, you're, you're successful at whatever it is you're doing. You're, you're working, you're working hard, you're focusing on self-love, you're blocking out the bullshit, you're blocking out the lies. 
but you got somebody here or some bodies, a few somebodies here that aren't really trying to move out of this, you know, out of this conflict space, conflict energy, and they want to keep you. It's kind of like misery loves company. You know, I'm feeling all jacked up, so I want everybody around me to feel jacked up too. So that's kind of what this is. But you released it, and so now they're pissed. What's their karma? Hmm. Their lives are all out of balance because you moved on. Their lives are out of balance because you refuse to work with these people. You're no longer interested in entertaining them. Um, you recognize that these people or this person or whatever this is, your frenemies, that they're not team players. They were never supportive of you. Um, so they're just literally getting back whatever it is they were trying to send. Yeah. They were trying to create, somebody here was trying to create, if there's a married couple here, or just a couple, because I do see two, I mean the Hierophant and the Two of Cups, so married couple. Um... Somebody here was trying to create, so out of jealousy, because of their, their, because of jealousy, trying to create an imbalance within a partnership to disrupt the foundation of the relationship so that somebody would get left. I did say something up here underneath up with the orphan energy. These people are whack. All right, what's an unexpected, something you need to be prepared for? Something you need, you need to be prepared for in dealing with these people. Something you need to be prepared for. Somebody makes a decision. A hasty decision. Somebody might make a hasty decision. I want to say manipulation gone bad. There's somebody here trying to, there's manipulation here. There's somebody here that is trying to manipulate a relationship or a relationship dynamic. Somebody is trying to disrupt somebody's stability here. So there is somebody here who has been trying, I don't know if their work is not working. Somebody close to you, somebody within your family even. Somebody is doing work and it's not working. Somebody was trying to bring about some poverty or bring about loss. I said that earlier. Somebody was trying to bring about loss and something is not working. On, on a masculine energy. This could be a distorted masculine. A distorted, a distorted, now a distorted masculine energy can be found within a woman. This is a woman who operates in, in a kind of like a masculine energy, right? Um, but I feel like this distorted energy here has been, is whatever work that they've been doing, this is somebody close to you. There's somebody maybe trying to work to create some type of loss or poverty for you. A 
loss, potentially maybe trying to get you to lose a new opportunity or a new cycle here. Somebody may be in spiritual prison. And it's not even somebody, oh, somebody is waiting. Well, no. It doesn't expect it. Somebody may end up in prison. Somebody's done something. They're doing some kind of work to stop a new cycle or a new beginning or even end a pregnancy or end a new, you know, end the, the birthing of a new something. Right? But I kind of feel like this imprisonment with the expectation in reverse, somebody doesn't see it coming. So there may be some type of imprisonment based on something that someone has done. They don't see it coming. And it was done to create loss of a new beginning and poverty. Shit, there's, there's this mature woman. Somebody wanted you to be in bad health. Somebody was, somebody wanted you to be in bad health. But you're not. We also have somebody here who is, again, doing some work to try to prevent a new beginning. And this sudden wealth. So somebody, so maybe this new beginning, this child card, because child, remember, doesn't always have to be about an actual child. But it's like a loss of the opportunity. So somebody may be trying to make you lose out on the opportunity for sudden wealth or some type of abundance. That's been coming up in my other generals. And this is a whole friend of me reading. A thief. Somebody's trying to block your pathway. Yeah. They were hoping that this main female would be in despair and lose something or lose their gifts, but there's they're not no. They're concerned about a change. Somebody here is concerned about a change and they're worried about losing something. Okay. Okay. No, we're not using this. Let's use these. Yeah, like somebody here is trying to create obstacles. Someone here has tried to create obstacles for you. And what they're tripping off of is the fact that you've been so flexible. You've remained flexible. Um, you know, things get thrown at you. You just transmute the energy. Somebody sends you some funky shit. You just, you, you feel it. You experience it. You let it pass through you and you use that energy for something else. So you go around the obstacles. That's why you're so flexible. It's so it's easy for you. It's easy for collective. We just bounce back. You may have somebody at a distance. Ooh, something's coming to an end though. Coffin. Could be an actual death, but the death card is out here. There's an ending coming. But there I do see illness, death, mourning timely change there is a change that does need to occur a scythe at the bottom of the deck yeah so it's like cutting things out making changes um yeah cutting away danger loss harvest a decision staying keen but every time i see scythe i really think about the cutting away the cutting off of certain situations cutting things out Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they're safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. So literally, whatever you're doing, keep it to yourself because bitches is out here jealous and telling your business. <laughs> okay? You're ready and perfect timing. Keep going. Whatever you're working on, it's, it's, doing, it's doing the do. Okay? The situation will improve in a year from now. We love it. 
Alright. What else? Anything else for our frenemies? We need to be worried about. Yep. Setting sail and healing. You're moving on. Moving on with your life. Healing the, the healing the parts of you that need to be healed, especially if it's regarding a relationship. You're being divinely guided to sail away from situations, people, relationships that cause you stress and turmoil. And you're being encouraged to heal, especially if this is, I did mention a married couple, if you're a couple out here, um, this is an opportunity to heal the dynamic within a relationship, okay? I'm going to leave it there, folks. If any parts of this resonated or gave you confirmation of your own situation, please give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to book a, a personal reading more align your own story, um, all of my information can be found below in the description box, and my books are always open, all right? I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, weekend, and or year, whenever you happen to catch this. Until next time, take care.